Hey everybody, this is Mitch from BoardCo, and today I have the opportunity to show you something that I have been waiting to talk about and show you for over a year now. This boat that's sitting right behind me has been years in the making, and you are going to get a chance to walk through it today with me. This right here is the all-new Centurion RI245. The RI245 is the next evolution in the Centurion RI series regarded around the world as being the best wake surfing boats on the planet. The RI245 builds on the existing RI series boats, but takes it to an entirely new level. The evolution of the RI series is apparent in the RI245 on the exterior of the boat, as well as a lot of the different features on the interior, not to mention the incredible enhancements in the performance of the boat. I'm going to walk you through the RI245, show you what is really unique about this boat and why it is unlike any other wake surf boat to ever come before it. Let's get started. We're going to start here on the outside of the RI245. You see the whole design on the exterior has been completely revamped and redesigned on this new boat. The exterior features chiseled new body lines that add strength and rigidity as well as a beautiful new cosmetic look. This is a truly bold, aggressive looking boat that is going to turn heads whether you're on the launch ramp or in the water. Going on the exterior of the boat, there's some great new features such as the uh, ballast drain ports that have been recessed up under this whole underside of the hull, meaning that you don't have a bunch of through hole fittings that are just messing up the beautiful sleek lines on the exterior of the boat. New on the 245 are these all new ram fill vents and airflow vents that are on the exterior of the boat that are machined billet aluminum. The ram fill vent features awesome backlighting here on the outside and features a bold new look that flows with the lines on the exterior of the boat. This vent right here is where the ram fill ballast, uh, where the air flows out of the ram fill ballast tanks while they are filling up. As you see, the vent is really large. That is because of the capacity of the ram fill tank and how quickly it fills up while you are driving. This is, once again, the fastest filling, fastest draining, and fastest adjusting ballast system available on any surf boat. The RI245 comes standard with Centurion's exclusive drop zone power folding tower. The drop zone tower has incredible features such as the ability to fold with just the push of a button, floating actuators sitting in the tower, meaning that the tower can fold up and lock into position even if you do not have power going to it. It also features life jacket hooks in the center of the tower, recessed lighting up into the tower that gives you great ambient lighting through the interior of the boat. The incredible bombshell board racks that are exclusive to Centurion that can hold even the highest end fragile surfboards without damaging them or having any possibility of the boards coming out of the racks while you're driving down the lake. They're also going to keep your racks or your, keep your boards protected with the gator step lining across the entire interior of the racks. They also feature a magnetic swivel system, meaning you can easily and quickly swivel them to the inside of the boat for easy access to your boards. The drop zone power tower also features tow points on the sides of the tower. So if you're teaching new guys how to surf, you can get them up on the outside of the amazing surf wave on the RI245 and not have to worry about them drop, having to drop into the pocket of the wave from the top when they're first learning to get up and get on a surfboard. To finish it off, the RI245 is available with the so long double extra large folding canopy top bimini. This bimini features, in, features integrated heat resistant surf pockets in the tower to hold your surfboards and keep them protected from the sun. It's also the fastest deploying and fastest folding bimini that is available out there on the market with the largest coverage of any bimini available on any surf boat. You also can opt for the additional shade sail that is available on the Solong FCT bimini to give you coverage through the entire boat even to the back swim platform. Here at the back of the boat, there's a few things we want to talk about. The first one is to highlight the unique running surface that is on the RI245 and all of the Centurion boats in general. The RI245 features Centurion's revolutionary OptiV hull design. The OptiV hull is revolutionary because the intent of the hull is to produce the best wake surf wave possible on any boat. 
Rather than just being a water ski boat or a wakeboard boat that we put attachments on or devices to make it so it can create a surf wave, Centurion decided to focus on creating a hull with the premise of designing a boat to go 11 miles an hour to produce the best possible surf wave it could. They then modified and tweaked this hull to make it so it can throw a phenomenal wake surf or wake board wake as well as can throw a respectable recreational water ski wake when you speed the boat up. The way they were able to achieve this design was by focusing on how the boat will go through the water at a slower speed, at surf speed, in order to create the biggest and longest possible surf wave. The way that the engineers at Centurion were able to achieve this best possible wake surf hull was by increasing the dead rise that ran through the boat. What dead rise is, it is the, is the measurement of the angle that sits from the side of the boat to the center of the boat. In other words, the amount of V that exists in the hull. By carrying the V not just at the front of the boat, but all the way through to, towards the back of the transom, they're able to have a boat that is going to slice through the water and displace more water behind the boat at slower speeds than if you had a flat bottom hull. In addition to this, the hull will naturally split water to one side or the other instead of needing to have a device that crabs or moves the entire hull to one side or the other. The result of this is a surf wave that has more power, that is longer, and that displaces more overall water. An additional benefit to the OptiV running surface is that it's going to drive through rough water conditions unlike any other boat hull that's available on an inboard. It's going to slice through those big waves in rough water, so whether you're out on a busy lake on a Saturday or driving through the channel at Lake Powell, you're gonna have a silky smooth ride even heading in through six foot waves. Next up, we have the new Quick Surf 3.0 surf plates here on the RI245. These plates have some slightly different angles and shaping than the previous Quick Surf plates that were available on Centurion boats. These new Quick Surf plates are going to deliver an even better surf wave with a little bit more displacement than we experienced with previous plates, as well as slightly less weight sensitivity. This means that you're gonna be able to have a better surf wave for transitioning from goofy to regular in just a matter of a couple seconds. The boat is gonna be less weight sensitive, so if people get up and move around within the boat, you're not gonna notice that impact on your surf wave like you were on previous editions. The new Silent Stinger 2.0 plate is going to deliver the best possible way to adjust the running attitude of the boat while it's going through the water. By adjusting this plate, you can control the attitude of the bow and make significant changes to your surf wave or your wakeboard wake. This is going to allow you to create the most customizable surf wave that's available on any boat on the planet. The combination of the OptiV running surface, the Quick Surf 3.0 plates, and the Silent Stinger 2.0 plate is going to deliver the most customization that is available for your surf wave. That means you're not just going to be able to create a small mellow wave or a big steep wave like on other boats that are out there, but you're gonna be able to customize your surf wave to be any size and any shape that you want regardless of the rider that is behind the boat. Plus with the available 5,650 pounds of ballast on the RI245, you'll know that displacement is not gonna be an issue for churning up and creating the most customizable surf waves out there. This new Silent Stinger plate is going to create less back pressure than previous models, increasing the overall power that is delivered throughout the boat, as well as a beautiful new design. Before we jump to the inside of the boat, there's one other thing I wanted to touch on here on the exterior, and that is the word displacement. The RI245 packs more ballast than any boat to ever come before it. It weighs in at a full 5,650 pounds of ballast. If you include the weight of the boat and the size of the fuel tank, you have a total displacement number of over 12,000 pounds that you are pushing around with this boat before you add people into it. What that means is you're going to be able to displace more water with the RI245 than any other boat that has ever come before. That is going to deliver the biggest and longest wake surf wave available on any boat. When it comes down to it, when you're creating a surf wave, there's really only two factors that matter. The first one is the amount of water that is being displaced, and the second is what you're doing with that water. The combination of the most customizable surf wave that exists with the quick surf plates and the silent stinger plate on this boat 
as well as the incredible 12,000 pounds of displacement, is going to deliver not only the biggest and longest surf wave, but the wave that's going to be the most customizable and tunable for exactly what you want to experience behind the boat. Here at the front of the RI245, we have a couple great new features that have been integrated into the boat. We have these Baja Racing headlights. These are super, super bright headlights that give great field of vision off of the front of the boat. So whether you're pulling up to a dock or driving around at night, these are going to give you maximum visibility on the water. In addition to that, we have this beautiful backlit grill design on the RI245. When you start this boat up and run it, the Centurion logo lights up in the background and is going to just look absolutely stunning out on the water, either during the day or at nighttime. You also have on the top of these headlights a platform that is lined in the new Warrior Gator Step. This is going to give you a stepping platform so you don't have to worry about stepping on your docking lights or really anywhere else. You have a clear path to be able to walk into the inside of the boat from any angle when you're coming on from the dock. We have an all new swim platform on the RI245 that has the integrated grab handles. We also have the option of having a fold down swim ladder here at the back as well as the all new stern thruster system that is available on the RI245 from us here at Boardco. This is going to give you maximum control while pulling up to a dock so that you can basically parallel park your boat super easily even if you're not necessarily the best driver in the world. One great new feature I wanted to talk about on the RI245 is the ability to customize this boat for you. The RI245 features the ability to put three different layers of gator step flooring throughout the boat. A single layer of gator step comes standard. You can also do two layer gator step in this boat, or you can opt for the three layer gator step like you see in this boat here. This boat has three different layers of gator step, each in a different color. This one is, the, is black gator step, pearl, and shark fin are the colors in this one. And you have the option of picking between 14 different colors for each layer of gator step in this boat. That means if you have a blue and black boat, you can do blue and black gator step, or blue and black and gray gator step. It gives you the ability to completely customize every aspect of the boat to make it perfect for what you want. Going even a step further than this, we offer the ability to do custom laser etching in the gator step. This specific gator step has the digi camo laser etching. We also offer wood grain and Tetris laser etching in the top of the gator step as well. So if you want to really give your boat a luxurious customized feel on the inside, that is one of the great new aspects and ways that you can do that in the RI245. Here on the inside of the RI245, you can see that we have tons of storage space available. There's lots of storage space underneath all of the seats, going from the very back of the boat through your main storage lockers, underneath all of the side seats, your big storage closet here under the passenger seat, and going all the way up to in through the bow. All of your seats on the sides are on hinges and supportive shocks so that they will open up, stay open for you without having to have your hand to support them, and soft close back down for you. There's lots of other great features in the inside, such as your quick access for your trash can right here, quick trash can access to pull your trash can out through this main locker right there, and the ability to have these flip up seats that flip up and lock in going um, so that you can have more action facing back towards the riders on the back of the boat from both sides, as well as your sliding seat that can move up here underneath your bimini shade and face back towards the rider so you can check out the action from back behind the boat. Through the interior of the RA245, you'll notice a lot of great refinements and enhancements through the inside. We have these great new machined billet aluminum grab handles that are safe but also aren't going to interfere with your seating or get in the way, as well as they look beautiful. Also, backlit smoked glass Centurion emblems through uh, the different side compartments. This is going to not take away the need or use for any stickers or adhesives or other emblems like that and really elevating the class and the luxury in the RI245. Possibly one of the biggest upgrades in the Centurion RI245 comes here in the helm design. Starting off, we have the Cobra Racing driver's seat with the ability to be able to slide forward and back and the option of having a power driver's seat that can tilt forward and backwards as well as telescope up and down. But going beyond that, we have the all new dash design in the RI245. This is a huge upgrade 
from not just what we've had in Centurions in the past, but really pretty much any other surf, surf boat out there. You have huge dual 12 inch touchscreen display panels. This gives you the ability to see and interact with anything that you want to have as far as functionality on your dash with just a super quick look or the touch of just a couple buttons. This uh, eliminates the need for having to scroll through different menus, cycle through different options and things, and give you the ability to move between any one of the different interactions you want to have with your dash in just simply one or two button pushes. You see here on the left side of the dash screen, we have things such as our temperature, our depth, and our cruise control, which is just simply on and off with the push of a button. We also have our stereo control that's right here that has full Bluetooth integration. Um, you have on the left side of that your cell phone holder that will give you quick access for any of your Bluetooth options for your stereo. You also have the customization of, or the ability to pull up something that is entirely new in the dash for the RI245 and that is real-time fuel consumption ratings. We've talked a lot about fuel efficiency in the Centurion boats and how efficient the OptiV running surface in combination with the ballast placement and the surf system that we use is, but taking it a step beyond, we are allowing you to actually see the fuel consumption rate in this boat in real time. This is gonna give you not just the way to be able to talk up to your friends and show them how fuel efficient your boat is, but also give you the ability to calculate and see how much fuel you've been using, how much you're going to expect to use, and how long you can stay on the water before you're going to need to refuel. You can have different trip times and averages across that distance and that time. It'll also give you your fuel rate and the total engine hours that you're having for, during that trip. It's really useful as well as a way that we can showcase the amazing efficiency of the Centurion Holdism. Moving over here onto the right side dash screen, this is where you have controls over all of the different aspects of the boat. You have your home screen that gives you quick controls such as quick surf, quick launch, they're just quick, uh, really fast activations. You also see your RPM level. You have your settings button right up here in the left corner that makes it so you can go and set and change any of the different settings that are available in the boat. You also have controls on the right side for things such as your surf settings that will show you where your plates are interacting and where their position is at. You can also see a model of the boat right up here above to show you where, what that's going to do. You have your ballast placement where you can see all of your different ballast settings. We have a new fill all and drain all function, so if you just want to fill up everything in the boat to 100%, you can just do that. You can also select each one of these individual settings and just simply hit fill, drain, or stop. Super intuitive and gives you maximum control as well as a visualization of what is going on with both your plate system and the surf settings and your ballast settings here on the ballast screen. Next, you have your lighting settings. So you can turn on things such as your docking lights, your speaker lights, your courtesy lights, and your underwater lights on the back of the boat. You also have full control over all of your stereo options right here from your zone control functionality that you have here on the different aspects and areas of the boat where you can pick how much uh, volume is coming through your interior, your subwoofer, your tower, and your downward facing speakers. You can also change all of the different source settings and make it so you can set up Bluetooth, FM radio, USB, or whatever other method you want to connect. You have your navigation function that goes right down here on the right, bottom right side and you have your camera view that you can pull up your rear view camera so you can check out what's going on behind the boat. In addition to that, we have rider profile presets so that you can pull up things such as surf left, surf right, go home, as well as different functionalities for any of the individual riders that you're gonna have behind the boat. So if you have Johnny Surf Wave, you can press one button and set up the boat to be completely dialed for him regardless of what those settings are with your plates, your ballast, your cruise control, or any other aspects, it will automatically set it all up and do it for you. So driving and running the RI245 can be as easy as pressing one button and then engaging your throttle and putting it down. In addition to the great functionality of the dash, we also have some really great options for you right here on the steering wheel of the boat. We have this beautiful 
um, wrapped Italian steering wheel that is that looks and interacts beautifully. It feels really great. It's got an ergonomic design to it, so it's it's got an elliptical shape that is just really comfortable to hold on to and to be able to steer and drive. You've also got these great spots that you can have just one finger interaction for being able to slide from side to side that makes it so you don't have other items that are uh, impairing your steering that are sitting here around it that you get caught up on. So this driving and steering this boat is really a nice experience. We also have the two paddle shifters here on the sides of the steering wheel that have become um, a trademark for Centurion for the last few years. These give you maximum control over the two aspects that you're going to be using the most while you're driving the boat and setting up a surf wave. And that is your stinger plate right here on the left side. This is going to allow you to control your bow attitude and really customize the shape of your surf wave. Or you can control your cruise control right here on the right side. So this gives you control of the running attitude of the boat and the speed that you're going right here with a couple paddle shifts. It's really nice because I can be looking back here checking out the surfer behind the boat and if I notice that I'm going, hey, the wave's a little too big, a little too steep, I need to tone it down a little bit. All I have to do is press a couple notches on the paddle shifter and I can make that adjustment without, without needing to touch the dash screen or really even look at the dash at all. It gives you the ability to be able to check out what's going on behind the boat, make the adjustments you want to, and have maximum control as a driver without having to jump through a bunch of different hoops and menus to set up different aspects of your surf wave. You have full customization with just the touch of a button without even needing to see what is going on on the dash. One thing I wanted to highlight was the audio options that are available in the RI245. There's a few different audio system packages that you can pick from, but the one I wanted to highlight here is the all new Warrior system that is available in the RI245. The Warrior system is designed and built by Wet Sounds, which is generally considered to be the highest end provider of marine audio in the world. Some great aspects to Wet Sound speakers is that they have horn driver systems that will project sound back out to your surfers or wakeboarders so that they can hear the music while they're riding much better than with other stereo packages. But this system right here, the Warrior system, is unique. And when I mean unique, I mean you can't get it anywhere else outside of the RI245. This has not only different placement for speakers, in other words, speakers that face backwards and project sound across the board, but they also have downward facing speakers in the tower, as well as a whole bunch of speakers through the interior of the boat and dual Revo XXX subwoofers. One thing I wanted to point out with this system is what I mean by when it's, where it's exclusive to the RI245. I'm not just talking about the speaker housings, I'm talking about the actual components that are in the stereo system. To give you some example, the gold standard currently in the marine industry is referred to as the Wet Sound Rev 10 tower speakers. The, the tower speakers are available in a whole bunch of custom built audio systems and they are phenomenal. They project a ton of sound, they're loud, they're crisp, they're beautiful. To give you some perspective, the tower speakers that are in the Warrior system have drivers that are two times the size of Wet Sound Rev 10 speakers. All of the components throughout this boat, all of the speakers, all of the different housings and everything else in it were custom designed by Wet Sounds to fit the RI245 and provide the best possible experience. None of these speakers are available off the shelf or available aftermarket. The only way you can get an audio system on this level is in the RI245. This system is truly competition level audio and if you want to have the best possible experience with sound, the best way to experience it is with the Warrior system on the RI245. In addition to having a table option that fits on the inside of the boat, you can also move the table here to the outside of the RI245 back here on the transom platform. This makes it so that you can hang out, enjoy snacks, make sandwiches, have Cheetos here on the back end without getting your beautiful interior lined with orange dust from all the kids' snacks. So you can hang out here on the back, have the flip up transom seats so that you can hang out and relax and have your table with your drinks, your snacks, everything like that here on the back end really elevates your experience when you're just hanging out here at the back of the boat in between surf sessions. Thanks again for spending a lot of time with us here checking out the RI245. Currently, we are doing demos on this boat and we'd be more than happy to take you out and show you how this boat runs. This is truly the best wake surfing boat ever built 
and we would be more than happy to show you all of the aspects of it. Just wait for more videos that we're going to be releasing that will showcase the performance aspects of the RI245 and feel free to come in and see us here at BoardCo to check this boat out. Don't hesitate to reach out to us to ask us any questions, let us know how we can help, or if you're interested in potentially looking at an RI245 for you and your family. Check out BoardCo.com for more information, as well as check out our YouTube channel and subscribe for lots more videos like this where we dive into the in-depth details on surf boats and how you can have the best experience out on one for yourself. We appreciate it a ton. Thanks a lot for your time and never hesitate to reach out to us to let us know how we can help. Thanks a ton. We'll